Right, we're gonna take a look at something today. Here we have a marker for some uh, drinking water line, and then there's a line, uh, a manhole over here for water. Okay, and on this side we have ourselves a fire hydrant, and there is a ditch with material coming in from across the street, across the little uh, parkway there. Now this material, this water in here, although uh, it's a little greeny, it's got some algae in it. We're not really seeing any contamination on the surface except for algae. Then we have this pile of dirt here. I'm not quite sure what it's connected to, but again, here is the water line and there's the water line, a water hole, a uh, manhole for the water line, for water. And we have the ditch here, right, with the, with the algae. So now let's go in this direction here. Now we're starting to see some discoloration on the surface. Now, some of it, if you test it, then it's got, um, it'll reform not as oil, but in other parts of it, it won't. So they say that this is organic. This is what we've been told. It's organic. You'll see a mixture of it here. Again, it's not, we're talking about, I think that's about 16 to 18 inches. So water over here doesn't have it water over here has it so if this were organic we would expect it in all parts of the waterway and from here we can see that it seems to be seeping out of the ground and moving along in this direction so it's pulled along in this direction we're going to see some of the um, current surface here right now there we go okay now if we break it it'll break up it doesn't reform right away sometimes it does which now if it reforms right away, uh, it's probably some type of oil. But this, if it breaks up, they say it's, oh, it's organic. The problem is that it is not on that side of the 16 inch break, uh, 16 inch um, buffer of dirt and grass, but it's on this side, quite a bit of it. And it flows all the way down here Now, according to, amazingly, the Minnesota Department of uh, Natural Resources, this may be organic. But the, the problem with it being organic is this. If it is organic, why is it here? Why is this material in here? Some of this, the organic stuff that they're talking about can be formed from excessive vegetation, but also if there are certain metals chemicals in the soil that these particular, that a particular type of bacteria, if it is organic, likes to eat. So you got two things. Is this uh, oil spills and other spills, maybe transmission fluid, a brake fluid from a recent uh, accident, or is this overflow from a um, injection well that has since been turned off a couple of years ago, or is it from a natural, uh, not a natural gas pipeline, from a landfill gas pipeline that was going through here and was also reportedly turned off a couple of years ago. Is this some of the mess left over from that? Well, we asked to have it tested and they said, oh, that'll cost $5,000. So we're just gonna go with organic. So they're stating it's organic, but even if it is organic, we do need to know what it is because if this is being caused by other chemicals in the soil that these particular bacteria like to eat, then we need to know what those chemicals are and where they came from. Pretty simple stuff. Of course, it's a public health matter, but we'll see what goes on with that. Thank you very much.